just going to wait a few minutes for some people to hop on. Make sure I have everything here. I was trying to find my drink. Oh, here it is. <laughs> For those of you who are on right now, I'm just going to talk really quickly about this drink that I tried today. My husband brought it home. It's called June Shine, and it's um, hard kombucha. Organic, probiotic, and gluten-free. And it's very delicious. If you're not so much a beer or a wine drinker, this is a perfect option. Um, and... Yeah, I might just be sipping on it while we are going live. Um, again, I'll just wait a couple more minutes, maybe one more minute before I get started. Um, I don't know if any of you have had babies anytime recently, but I have a 10 month old and my baby hairs, my postpartum growth is just insane and they're untamable at this point, even with product. And I try not to put too much product in my hair, but, um, you know, I do the best that I can. Yeah. <laughs> like they're, the hairs are too short to be bangs. So I can't just like pretend they're bangs. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> but so I need to figure out different hairstyles that will like, kind of hide them, at least from the front, because from the side, you know, they're still there, but. but yeah, we have quite a few dresses to um, talk about today, including the one that I'm wearing. I cut my bangs to try to cover it. Yeah, I have bangs, but I want to grow them out for the summer. Um, and so it's just this weird thing, like, do I cut them again so that they can grow with my baby hairs? Because I'm, you know, I'm at that point of having bangs where I'm like, okay, I'm done. Like, I want to, I want to grow them out now, <laughs> which, you know, would have been more convenient if I wanted bangs right now. But, okay, so let's see, let's talk about, let's talk about this dress and then how I styled it. Um, this, the first dress that I have here, it's hard for me to see, so if you guys need me to like show certain angles, just let me know. It, it, I don't know if what you're viewing is the same as mine because I have some other uh, parts to the live. But um, okay, so this first dress is the Madewell. Let's see. Okay, this is the Madewell long sleeve gingham. And first of all, let's just talk about gingham real quick because not only is it a hit for the summer, well, honestly, just like the whole year, but it's just so cute. And it's honestly not a, um, what's the word, design that I like was super into up until like last year. But now I'm obsessed, like everything I have is gingham. <laughs> and so this was a perfect add, add on to my wardrobe. The color, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's like a deep red, almost like a deep, mm, like a light burgundy and a lilac color, which I think this color combination is genius. It's just so cute. And I think what's great about the color combo is that it goes throughout all seasons. So obviously maybe not winter with, you know, tights, even though mm, it's like a, it's a more thin cotton. So maybe I wouldn't wear it in the winter, but spring, summer, fall, summer, because it's just so light and airy. And on this, uh, for this dress, it goes down to my knees. I'm five, two and a half. And it's like that three quarter kind of like balloon sleeve, which is super in right now, but also just timeless because just of the cut, how it's so relaxed and easy to wear. Um, what else do I have to say? So the jewelry that I'm wearing, 
This is pretty basic jewelry that I have on right now. I have some tiny thin gold hoops and these little strawberry um, earrings that are from Maricotta. And then I just have my typical gold bands. These are all from Missouri and then my engagement ring. And it's just a simple look. Um, as far as jewelry goes, I typically don't wear earrings and a necklace. I choose between the two. So I probably, if I wasn't wearing earrings or if I was wearing something really simple at the top, then I would wear maybe like a herringbone chain or some sort of gold chain and then maybe, a, or even a cute like chunky choker. So that's what I would wear. And then for my shoes, I'm just wearing some chunky gladiators from Free People. I wear these all the time and they go perfect with dress. Like any type of dress goes perfect with these shoes because it just adds kind of like a grunge look to any look that you have. So while this dress is kind of like a loose baby doll, really easy to wear, um, there's a little bit of edge to it with the shoes. So this is such a sweet dress. I have this in the size zero and I would say that it would probably fit um, a size extra small to maybe even a medium. I feel like the size, the, the style of dress can, is very forgiving. So that is the first dress made well. Very, very cute and very great for summer. The next dress that I have is this one. While we're on the same similar, like deep color palette, this dress is by the Billy the Label. This, I've, I've worn this dress so much. Um, I just, it's, to me, it's the perfect combination between modern, but also really unique. So, and let me add this to the screen real quick and I'll present it. So Billy the Label, the El Elodie sleeveless midi dress. It has this beautiful plaid print, sleeveless. Same with this dress, there's like a little um, class button type of deal in the back. And um, it's a midi dress. For me, it hits right above the ankle, probably right at the ankle. But it goes all the way down, kind of like a shift, and then out, it's like a party on the bottom. Again, like I just, these relaxed fits are my go-to's for sure. I would definitely, so um, is that on the casual or fancy side? I would definitely say, I would say this is more on the casual side. Well, it depends on what you define casual versus fancy as. Obviously it's not like a cocktail dress, but um, like I wore this on my, two year anniversary dinner with my husband with some boots. Um, and I thought it was perfect for summer, you know, cause I feel like dresses in the summer can be much more um, casual for more like formal um, events. Like we got married in June, two years ago and people were wearing sundresses because I feel like that's just one, you're in Texas and two, it's very hot. So you don't want to be super like hot in what you're wearing, um, especially on an outdoor wedding. And so this is definitely more casual, but can uh, be worn for dinner time. Um, I think it's the perfect, like, I don't know, out in town. I feel like I would wear this, well, I wore the last time I wore this was in Austin when we celebrated our two-year anniversary. Um, and I wore it, like I said, out to dinner, but I also worked to like a market, like an outdoor market, and it was really nice. Um, it's a cotton, I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's 100% cotton. I'm trying to find the label here, but yeah, it's like a really breathable material. Um, I would say that the Madewell is much lighter. So along with Madewell, I think this Billy dress can definitely be worn through fall and winter especially that it's longer. And you can see on the model, the girl um, in the photo, the stock photo, this dress hits her like right below the knee, but this dress hits me right by the ankle. So I guess you can just see how short I am. <laughs> so, thank you. 
Um, and then, yeah, the color is also really great. It's just super warm. Um, kind of like a terracotta, like a brownish terracotta, pretty color. And I wore this with like a blue baseball cap and just the contrast was so cute to me. Just like the perfect casual, but also still put together and fun, kind of carefree outfit. Um, and then what else did I have to say about this dress? Uh, oh yeah, just the fact, just like wearing dresses in the summer makes me and my heart so happy. Um, dresses with boots or dresses with chunky gladiators like this, um, or even just dresses with tennis shoes. Perfect, perfect. That It's like that outfit you can wear throughout the day if you're out all day kind of thing. If you're gonna go to a picnic and then a market and then maybe go get, you know, a fancy lunch, but then sit, you know, I'm, I have like, I have Austin in the mind. I don't know who is from Austin, Texas here, but um, I, think, I think about going for a picnic at Zilker and um, and then going to dinner afterwards. So this is perfect for all of that. Okay, next dress we've got. So I've got two white dresses that look a little bit similar, but their fits are very different. So I can show both. Um, I'll show this one first and then the second one. But this one is by Most of All. I still have a tag on it, but I tried it on and I absolutely love it. Again, similarly to the Philly dress, this one's a little bit long on me. So um, I'm probably going to get this tailored a couple inches up so that it's a little bit, so it fits my legs a little better. Um, this is so, so pretty. And I, wow, I just love this. I love um, the same like cotton material. Uh, for it's almost like a men's t-shirt type of material, but it's a little has a little bit more stretch to it. Also perfect for, for summer, very breathable, and the big sleeves are just my favorite. They've always, I feel like I've always loved sleeves like this, um, and if it, it's nice and fitted at the waist and the bust, and then it goes out a little bit on the um, the skirt part, and then it's just a close back. Very pretty. Um, I imagine myself wearing this for like uh, like bridal events, <laughs> but honestly, I would wear it now too because I feel like white dresses, specifically white dresses and gingham, but let's talk about white dresses now, are just so staple for the summer and so staple for, I guess, the, the warmer seasons. And you can wear white with anything and it'll look super chic. Again, would wear this with these shoes um, I also have a couple of kitten heels that I might wear for a more like fancy event. And yeah, and then this also has a lining right here. So nothing is going to show through. Um, let's see. I want to just make sure I have the material right on this. But I probably can't find it. It's most likely on the description though on the um, high end description. So very, very cute. Oh, oh my gosh, I forgot to present it. This is something I have to get used to. Okay. Oh, and this is also extremely affordable. So for this dress, you can get this 33.15 if you shop right now. And one, like the fact that it's such a deal, but also it's just so cute. You can't find dresses like this often or really at all at that price. I feel like I've seen dresses on here from places like Reformation or maybe even Free People for over a hundred. So this is a great, this is a steal. What kind of jewelry would I wear with this? Um, well, I mean, I feel like the list is endless for something like this because it's so simple, but can also offer such a statement. So um, let's see, I probably would wear I probably wear one of those tacky beaded necklaces or I would keep it simple and just do like a, a chunky gold hoop and then keep my rings pretty much the same. And then, oh my gosh, this would look so cute with some cowboy boots. I love that. I'll probably have to make that um, a look sometime soon, but I absolutely love this dress and the way that it just, it's just so elegant and how it fits your shoulders. So there's most of all the Charlotte puff sleeve dress. And um, also, 
the dress that I wanted to also kind of compare it to that I have to show you guys. This one is by um, Gray State. So I'm going to present this one now. Gray State Dakota dress. Now this one, this one is also white with the sleeves, but it's the fit, like I said, is very, very different. Even if you can see in the stock photo, that model, the way that it's um, fitted. So we've got those sort of like puff, what are these called? The puff sleeves. Um, but it has kind of like, hmm, I'm not sure if the word pilgrim is the right <laughs> word to explain it, but just that like square neckline that's more much, it's, it's very classy. Okay, and then we have like the tiered skirt line and also the waist section, like the, where it hits your ribs, it's um, wider. So it's a little bit more of a relaxed fit than the first dress from most of all. And so this one is also in a size zero. I believe both of them I have in a size zero and this hits the knee. But, I, but similarly to the Madewell dress, I really love this for a much more, well, it really just depends on what your style is and what kind of look you're going for. So I would not necessarily say this is more casual, but it's just a different look. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to think of words to use. Um, I was gonna say that this is a little more modest, but I don't really think that's the case. It's still just a different fit. <laughs> So I also, yeah, I just love the tiered um, skirt line. And if you can't, if, if this one doesn't work for you, then very likely the most of all dress will work for you. Um, and then same thing with jewelry. I probably would also, okay, this one I would definitely wear a chunky necklace with um, and have my hair down. This, I also would use these shoes or the cowboy boots. The thing about my taste in dresses is I try to go with a more versatile look so that I can pair um, the piece with different accessories and shoes to change up the look a bit. I love wearing ball cap, uh, baseball caps with dresses, no matter what dress it is. So this one I totally would just to like make it more casual. And so this is a really great dress to kind of throw on. I mean, this would be great if you're I'm just thinking about, I, I graduated at Texas State in San Marcos and a tradition for graduates is to jump into the river right after you graduate. And so this would be a perfect graduation dress to have over your swimsuit so you could just throw it off and then jump in. So this is the dress by Gray State. Really, really beautiful, relaxed fit. And also in the cotton material, that really breezy, breathable summer material is right here. Okay. Now, the last dress. The last dress I have is different from what I have shown re um, previously, but it's so, so beautiful. I'll show it right here. Oh no, I have two more dresses actually. I'll have to go grab the last one. So this dress is by Bardot. It's the midi bow tie dress. Oops, the tie just came off, but these um, tie strings are great. So they're adjustable um, depending on how high or low or whichever. I've always loved the tie because it's also a little extra detail and you can go a little bit more simple on the accessories because there's more going, up, going on up here. Um, also, can we just talk about this color? Just the yellow. I absolutely love yellow and the um the dainty floral details are just it's just so so beautiful i mean if this doesn't scream spring and summer to you i don't know what else it does this would hit around the ankle for me oh actually no right above the ankle and i gotta say i probably would wear these shoes with this dress too because i just love the just the juxtaposition of the grunge and the super floral, dainty kind of um, cottage core look. And, um, and it's nice and fitted at the top. And then we've got those, not quite spaghetti, but um, tie on straps here. And there's a little bit of ruching detail at the bust. And then there's a zip at the side for, or sorry, no, there's a zip at the back 
so it's nice and easy to put on. But I absolutely love flowy, flowy dresses. Um, and this also has a slit on the side. It doesn't go very high, which is great. And it has a lining inside, which, ooh, I like how the lining goes along with the slit. Because sometimes dresses have a slit, but the lining goes past the, the slit and it just looks a little weird. But um, this is so, so beautiful. Perfect, ugh, running through the meadows dress. <laughs> Um, and again, I could, oh, you know what? I would wear probably like a white little baby tee under. That could make it look cute to cover up a little bit more if you wanted to. Um, but then also just leaving it bare and wearing a nice gold chain with this. Very, very cute. Let's see. This is in the size extra small four, and absolutely love it. Okay, I'm gonna run and get the last dress. I left it in my room, but I'll be just a second. Now, if you're with me last week talking about tanks, you and you liked the tops that I showed you, you're probably gonna love this dress. This is much different than what I've shown so far, but this is by the line by K. This is the Aim Ruched Mock Neck dress, and it is so elegant and sexy. Um, and it's also like, I wanna say it's double lined, but it honestly feels like it might be triple. I think it's double lined double line on both sides. So when you first take a look at this, you know, stretchy spandex cotton blend material, you're like, ooh, that's gonna show like everything, but it really doesn't. Cause when I had this on, like everything was just completely seamless and it was just so flattering. It kind of just sucks you in. And the detail in the front is really what gives you more of that, like sort of, like an hourglass figure. I don't have much of that going on. So this actually really like makes me, you know, feel like a new woman almost. But the mock neck also is really, really classy. And um, it's kind of just like a different look because you, you know, because it's a bodycon dress essentially, but there's um, this turtleneck mock neck deal. And then what I love about the line by K, like I mentioned last week, is their fits and their silhouettes of their pieces are so, so absolutely unique. So this is double line. And then there's another layer right here. Here's, here's the third layer. And it just gives you that ruched kind of look. And I got to say, their quality is so amazing and so worth the price. Um, because basically all of their clothing is all neutrals and um, so versatile. So like, even though this is super unique of a silhouette, you can wear it with a blazer, you can wear it by itself, you can um, dress it up with heels or dress it down with boots. And it's just kind of one of those, um, those looks that you can recreate. So this is the Aim Ruched Mock Neck. So gorgeous. And I gotta say like their material is also just like the softest ever. I need to find out what material this is. Well, it's rayon, 95% rayon, 5% spandex. And I just, oh, it's so like silky and bouncy and comfy when you wear it. I promise you, you won't regret it. The way that it like kind of shakes your body is so, so beautiful and flattering. So I love that. Um, and I would say with this kind of scrunching up of this, this dress would go maybe an inch or a half an inch above my knee. 
And again, I'm five two and a half. So I absolutely love it. And gray is great because it's just really easy on the eyes, really easy to pair with anything that you have in your closet. Even if you have like a staple blazer, you can just pair it on top and it just creates kind of like a fun, funky juxtaposition look. So there is the line by Kay. So cute. Let me know if you guys have any questions about the dresses that I've shown. Um, if you were to ask me which one my favorite is, I probably, hmm, I probably would have to say it's either between um, the Billy dress and the uh, most of all, I keep forgetting what the brand is, but it's the most of all. I actually think both are staples just for your closet in general because while, you know, this is a nice basic white mini dress, um, this also can go through all seasons and you can, you can even add like a turtleneck on top, a uh, turtleneck on the bottom um, or a more winter look and some boots. That would be so, so cute. And then the most of all, and then for those who just hopped on, I also have this one by Gray State. Similar white dress, but very different cut, different look, but also kind of like a, it's not a mini dress because it's not super short, but it just hits right at the knee. And then we've got the Bardot dress in that really pe beautiful pastel yellow with blue and pink flower details. Love a good midi. And then the Line by K bodycon dress that is currently being presented, the Anne Bruce mock neck. So great. I probably, I think the reason why they do double line so that you're able to wear it in the summer. So if you're like sweating, especially if that it's gray, it shouldn't go through right away because um, it's double lined throughout the whole dress, which is so, so comforting to know that. Um, but yeah, go ahead and, and um, if you would like to shop, you get an extra 15% off the deal that's already going on. So there's um, their birth, uh, Vera Shop's birthday deal that they have, I think it's like 25% off some fashion. And then the 15 on top of that, which is honestly a steal for any of these dresses. Because I got to say, the line by K dresses and clothes in general don't really ever go on sale. So this is your time to shop. So let me know if you guys have any questions. Other than that, I'm going to hop off. But um, don't forget to join me next week. Going to be another fun little styling sesh. Um, we're going to be talking about playful yet elegant shorts. So I'm excited for that because dresses, shorts, I mean, we know the deal. This is what we wear in the summer and it's perfect. So denim shorts are what you can look forward to. But if no one has any questions, I can hop off. And don't forget, if you want to follow me on Instagram, I'm at M-A-R-A-H dot C-Z-Y-K, Mara Zick. All right. Thank you, guys.